The Russian-Ukraine war appears to be more of a fight between standoff anti-tank missiles rather than tank-on-tank -tank battles. Anti-tank missiles are getting increasingly effective. You've probably heard about thousands of anti-tank missiles that the West has sent to Ukrainian military. The Javelin missiles, which has proven to be extremely efficient against Russian tanks, is the best amongst these systems. However, the Russians have anti-tank missiles, which they claim are superior to those used by the US. The Cornet is the best anti-tank weapon on the battlefield according to them. So today, let's compare between the US Javelin and the Russian Cornet. Overview The FGM-148 Javelin is a man-portable fire-and-forget anti-tank missile manufactured in the United States by Texas Instruments, which is now Raytheon Missile Systems, and Martin Marietta, which is now Lockheed Martin. Javelin is a fire-and-forget missile with autonomous self-guidance and lock-on before launch. While the Russian Cornet anti-tank guided weapon was designed and manufactured by KBP Instrument Design Bureau and Dektyarev plant. It is meant to demolish fortifications, entrenched infantry, and small-scale targets including tanks equipped with explosive reactive armor. The FGM-148 Javelin entered service since 1996 and it has been used in many conflicts around the world, which it is now currently being used in the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. The Cornet was introduced into service with the Russian army in 1998. It was first used in combat in 2003 and has since also been used in many conflicts. Missile Specifications The missile length and diameter of both the missiles do not vary much, but the missile weight of the Javelin is 15.9 kg, while the Cornet is only 8.2 kg. The total weight of the system for the Javelin is 22.3 kg, while the Cornet is 29.2 kg. The warhead weight of both missiles also does not vary much. The latest variant of the Javelin has a range of 2.5 miles while the 9M-133 Cornet has a range of 3.5 miles. The latest variant of the Cornet, which is the 9M-133M Cornet M, has a longer range of nearly 5 miles. Armor penetration of both missiles are 800mm and 1000mm respectively. The Javelin missile's warhead is a tandem-shaped charge for penetrating explosive reactive armor capable of penetrating armor equivalent to 800mm of rolled homogeneous armor. The missile is equipped with a small thermal imaging TV camera in the nose and a powerful computer that once locked onto a tank will track it automatically even if it is moving. Javelin's long-wave infrared seeker allows it to operate in obscurant and low-visibility environments while also resisting countermeasures. It can be used on a variety of platforms such as tripods, trucks, light-armored vehicles, and remotely piloted vehicles. The missile is intended to strike the top side of a tank where the armor is the thinnest. After the launch, the missile climbs to a 330 to 660 feet altitude and dives at a 45 degree angle. The first charge explodes the armor, while the second penetrates the vehicle. The Javelin is capable of defeating any modern main battle tank. In addition to the top attack flight mode, it can also use the direct flight mode like any other anti-tank system. The Cornet, on the other hand, is fitted with a thermal imaging system to facilitate effective operations under low visibility day and night. The Cornet E system stands out owing to its high immunity to jamming of laser beam guidance channel of the missile under combat conditions. The Cornet's tandem heat warhead is just as intimidating for its size. It is designed to counter the threat posed by modern tanks' explosive reactive armor. The missile uses semi-automatic command-to-line-of-sight laser beam riding guidance to engage the target head on a direct attack profile. It cannot be used as a top attack mode in the same way that the Javelin can. 
The Cornet was further developed into the 9M133 Cornet EM, which has an increased range and an improved warhead. It was introduced in 2012. There are two types of missiles. A standard anti-tank missile with a tandem heat warhead, which has an 8km range. It penetrates 1,100 to 1,300 mm of ERA or 3 to 3.5 meters of concrete. The second missile has an 8km range and a thermobaric warhead. The third missile has a 10km range and a blast fragmentation warhead, however, it appears that the Cornet EM is only available in vehicle-mounted form. Instead of manually placing the crosshairs on target throughout the missile's flight, the operator designates a target once and the computer tracks the target as the missile travels towards it. The beam riding system also enables a vehicle with twin launchers to attack two different targets at the same time, increasing its rate of fire, reducing the number of vehicles required for a mission, and defeating vehicles equipped with an active protection system through salvo fire at one target. Combat Effectiveness During the 2003 invasion of Iraq, the U.S. Army, U.S. Marine Corps, and Australian Special Forces used the Javelin on Iraqi Type 69 and Lion of Babylon tanks. A platoon of U.S. Special Forces soldiers armed with Javelins destroyed two T-55 tanks eight armored personnel carrier and four troop trucks during the Battle of Dabaka Pass. The Javelin was used effectively in counter-insurgency, coin operations during the Afghan war. NATO supplied thousands of Javelins to Ukraine during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, where they have proved extremely effective. Javelins have been involved in the destruction, capture, or damage of over 230 armored Russian vehicles in Ukraine. On March 18, the Pentagon claimed that 100 of the 112 Javelins fired by the Ukrainians since the start of the war had hit their target. During the Iraq War, some groups of Iraqi Special Forces used the Cornet to attack U.S. armored vehicles, disabling at least two Abrams tank and one Bradley infantry fighting vehicle in the first week of the war. In the summer of 2014, the armor of Iraqi Army M1A1 Abram tanks were penetrated five times. Cornet missiles were responsible for most of these penetrations. In January 2017, the German newspaper Die Welt reported that the ISIL fighters used Cornets to destroy six Leopard 2 tanks used by the Turkish military in Syria. On February 26, 2022, a Cornet was used by Russian troops against a Ukrainian armored vehicle. The Javelin is a top attack fire and forget. Once locked on, it will home on the target. It can be carried and fired by one person without the need for an additional equipment, while a tripod is used for firing the cornet. It is a laser riding which means the operator has to keep the designator near the target. He can switch to the target at the last time second. Both systems are equally effective. The main advantage of the cornet over the javelin is the cost effectiveness and the range, it is quite cheap and has a very long range. But Javelin is better than the Cornet in terms of guidance. Also, the Javelin has a top attack mode, which screams upward and then swoops down on a tank's turret at its weakest point. The Cornet is a direct fire weapon like any other ordinary anti tank system. What are your thoughts on this? Do leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And with this, we're signing off for today. Bye bye.